Please be seated. Ong the court is now in session as the trial chamber, chamber is scheduled for today's proceeding today we will hear the testimony of a witness there is tcw505 oops uh, Could you report the attendance of the parties and individuals to today's proceeding? Dao An San, Mr. President, for today's proceeding, all parties are present. On a side note, Nunchi is present in the holding cell downstairs pursuant to the decision of the trial chamber concerning his health. It should also be noted that the National Lead Co Lawyer for Civil Parties abs is absent. Le national pour As uh, reported by the President today, we will hear the comme testimony le of the witness TCW505. This witness already took an oath this morning at the ECCC and confirms that through the best knowledge, the witness has no relationship by blood or by law through any of the true accused or the civil parties in this case. This witness has Mr. Momorotti as a duty counsel. We also have a reserve witness that is TCW386 who also took an oath this morning. Thank you. Merci, President, thank Monsieur you, Monsieur Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Darren Sun. Before we commence our evidentiary hearing on the witness TCW505, the Chamber would like to inform all parties to discuss that for today's proceeding and the subsequent days, Judge Yasa Khan is absent due to his health. After consultation with all the judges of the bench, we decided to appoint the reserve judge Tumone to replace the judge Yasakon, who is absent until such time he returns to his seat. This is based on the provision of internal rule 79.4 of the ECCC internal rules. Court officer, could you invite the witness and the duty counsel into the courtroom?
President, good morning, Mr. Witness. May we know your name? Witness. Réponse. My name is Pek Chum. Je m'appelle Pek Chum. President, thank you. Question. How old are you, Mr. Pek Chum? Quel âge avez-vous, Monsieur Pek Chum? Mr. Pekchum, please observe a slight pause. Monsieur le une pause avant de répondre when you questions. hear the question before you respond, so that your response will be interpreted. Ainsi, vos propos seront interprétés. And the AV unit will operate la régie qui the contrôle votre micro. microphone for you. And when you see the red line on the console of the microphone, then rouge, you can respond and sabine, your voice will go through the distribution si system. In particular, it will go through the interpreter's booth and it will be interpreted simultaneously into English and French. Once again, Mr. Pechim, how old are you? Une fois de plus, Monsieur Pechim, quel âge avez-vous? Answer. Réponse. I am 77 years old. 77 ans. Thank you. Question. Question. Where is your current residence? Où habitez-vous? Answer. Réponse. My address is in Pa'an village, Pa'an commune, Trapen Prasad district, Udar Minjai province. Question. Question. What is your current address, uh, your current occupation, rather? Quelle est votre profession, monsieur? Answer. Réponse. I am a farmer. Je suis agriculteur. Question. Question. What is your father's name? Comment s'appelle votre père? Answer. My father's name is Pripet. He is deceased. Question. And your mother's name? Question. Et comment s'appelle votre mère? Answer. Un on is my mother's Un name and she passed away. Elle est décédée elle aussi. Question. What is your Question. wife's name and Comment how many children do you have together? Avez-vous ensemble? Answer. Réponse. Her name is Chirak Pekning. Elle s'appelle Chirak Pekning. And we have five children. Nous avons cinq enfants. Thank you, Mr. Pekchum. I reported by the graduate through Merci, your best Monsieur knowledge. Pechum. Do you have no relationship by blood or by law to any of the civil parties recognized in this class, nor to any of the two accused, that is no G and Q some pawn, and that you already took an oath this morning? Before your appearance before this chamber, is this information correct? Yes, exact. Answer, yes, Réponse. it is. Cele. President, we would like Question. to inform you of your right and obligation, Mr. Pichim, as a witness appearing before this chamber, you may refuse to respond to any questions or requests for your comments that might incriminate you. This is your right against self-incrimination. And as requested, and in order to exercise that right, through WISU unit, the chamber grant you a duty council that is more mature during your appearance, so you can consult with him in such a situation. So that you can choose either to respond or Mais not to respond to the question. And as a witness before the, this chamber, 
It is your obligation that you have to respond to all the questions put to you by any of the judges or parties to this case. And you must tell the truth that you have heard, have known, have recalled, or experienced, or observed directly regarding any event put to you in the questions by any of the judges of the bench or any of the parties. And Mr. Pitchum, had you been interviewed by the Monsieur investigators Pitchum, of the office of the co-investigating judges during the last few years? Answer. I was interviewed at the house by the agents of this court, and I was interviewed four times at the time. Question. So you were interviewed four times. Can you tell us when and where you were interviewed? Answer. The interviews were réponse. conducted at my house in Pa'a village of Pa'a commune of Pa'a district. Question. Can you recall the month or the years of the interviews if you cannot recall the date? Question. Du président. Vous souvenez-vous de la date de ces auditions? It was uh, in 2005 for one interview Une it took four days audition, qui a duré quatre jours. and then it was again done in 2008, Une fois de plus, en 2008. and recently I was made on the Et récemment, 25th that is uh, when I was uh, invited to appear before this chamber devant cette chambre. Question. Before you appeared before this chamber, have you examined, reviewed, or listened de, to the written moi, records of your lu, interview vous lu le -verbal that you gave to the investigators in order to refresh your memory? Afin de vous rafraîchir la mémoire. Answer, yes. Oui. Yes, I listened oui, to the written record of my interview. Le procès verbal. Question. To Question. your best knowledge and recollection, can you tell us whether the written records the of your interview that you listened to si. reflect your responses that you provided to the investigators during the interview dans le cadre de l'audition. And so, yes, they are Réponse. consistent. En effet. President, thank you, Mr. Pitchum. For the hearing of the testimony of this witness, the prosecution is given the floor first. La parole à l'accusation en premier. And the prosecution, uh, with the lead co-lawyers, co is allocated la partie civile half a day dispose d'une demi-journée to question pour procéder à this witness. De ce thème. And another half a day is allocated to the defense teams. The prosecution, you may proceed. L'accusation attend. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Good morning to you, Mr. President, and your honours. Good morning to my fellow counsel. And good morning to you, Mr. Pick Chim. My name is Keith Rayner. I'm one of the prosecutors in this case. I would like to start, please, by asking you some questions 
about the time tout vous posez des questions, when you first joined the revolution à propos de l'époque and what positions you held within your district. Dans votre district. So my first question is, can you please tell us what year it was when you joined the revolution? Answer. I joined the revolution at the district at the time. Suis entré dans la révolution it was au on district. the 3rd of May, 1970. I was a member of the district front. Actually, I was a deputy of the deputy, the deputy of the district front at the time. Adjoint au front du district. Did you become the deputy of the district front immediately or were you appointed to that position a little later on after joining? At that time, there was an announcement for a Réponse. meeting, and I was appointed on as the deputy district réunion. front, Et on and a the nommé. chief of the district front was also announced at the time. Chef adjoint du front district, et on a aussi annoncé qu'il allait occuper le poste de chef so du front district. You were appointed as the Question. deputy of the district front soon after you joined the revolution. Is that correct? Peu après votre entrée dans la révolution. Est-ce exact? Mr. President, I propose to repeat the question because I've had no answer. Mr. President, I propose to repeat the question because I have not obtained a response. Mr. Pickchim, you joined the revolution in 1970. You've then said that there was a meeting when you were appointed as the deputy, the deputy district for the front. Was this in 1970 or later on? I was appointed in 1970. Uh, if we look at the leadership of the district, Who was the si chairperson of the district party district. in the district? Le chef. Wow. Qui était le chef de district? It was Comrade Com, a female who was the Combe, head of the qui était party. Uh, la responsable du parti. Above you at sector level, can you tell us please who was the sector secretary back in 1970? That person, Com, was the district Party secretary from 1970. Uh, I was asking, in fact, about the level above you, so at sector level. Who was the sector secretary, please?
It was Saum who was the sector secretary. Le secteur, sector le secrétaire de secteur était Saum. And we haven't yet had, had the number. Question. What was the number of your district, please? Numéro. Quel était le numéro de votre district? It was District 105. I want to move on to the Krang Tachan Security Center. And I want to ask you some questions about when that security center started to operate and what the purpose of the security center was. My first question is going to be based on what you told the agents of this court on the 27th of August 2009. Relevant ERNs, English 00380132. Khmer 00373464 and 6202. Mr. Pickchim, you said this to the investigators, and I quote. That center was created since 1972 by the sector party and the district party. Can you help us on who at the sector party was involved in the setting up of the Krang Tachan Security Center. President, President, the prosecutor, could you please repeat your question? I'll break it down. Mr. Peck Chim, is it right that the Krang Tachan Security Center was set up in 1972? as you stated in your interview. Yes, uh, the year is correct. Or it could have been established earlier than 1972. But uh, at that time, I did not know of its existence, it was the affairs of the sector, not the district. Now, when you got to find out about the security center, what did you understand to be the purpose of the security center. Quel était, quel en ce que vous aviez Through my understanding, it was for the purpose of re-educating people, these are those bad people. 
des so that they mauvais éléments become good people. pour qu'ils deviennent de bons éléments. Thank you. I want to refer next to what you told the investigators from this court about these bad people. I refer to the interview on the 27th of August 2009, that is D232-17. English ERN 00380133, Khmer 00373465366, and French 00426203. Stroke 4. Now, Mr. Pechchim, in this interview, you said that the bad people included people who refused to join the army. Now, was it a regular occurrence that people who refused to join the army were sent to Krang Tachan. Que l'on envoie les gens qui refusaient d'entrer dans l'armée au centre de Krang Tachan. Réponse. No. Non. And me and there. It was none. Non. Another category of people that you mentioned being sent Question. to Krang Tachan were people who went around attacking the party. Can you give us some examples of what people had said when they were attacking the party? What did that mean? Response. It means Réponse. it was part of the movement to fight to win the victory, and that when people Cela did something du to disrupt Et quand these efforts, these si people were regarded soit, as those who opposed the movement. Au mouvement. So was a distinction made Question. between people who supported the movement and people qui le who opposed et the movement? Ceux qui s'y opposaient. Response. At that time, Réponse. there was no such distinction. Une telle distinction That's what I believe. Pas, because à mon avis. those who joined the movement uh, engaged Ceux qui in the efforts uh, to defend uh, the country. Pour la and du pays. everyone who was engaged uh, in this movement, either directly or Tous indirectly, locally or internationally, these people could uh, be viewed as those who also shared the sympathy and also supported the movement. Et des partisans. But the people who refused Question. to fight Mais were not supporting the movement, were they? Qui refusaient de se battre ne soutenaient pas le mouvement, n'est-ce pas? Response. Réponse. Yes, they were. Those Ils who le did not join the movement did not join the fighting. Right. Ceux qui 
n'avaient pas rejoint le mouvement et ne participaient pas au mouvement. Et ceux qui attaquaient le parti ne le soutenaient pas. Est-ce est exact I'm going to ask the question a different way. I want you, Mr. Pekchim, to take some time and explain to this court, please, who the bad people were, from what groups, who were sent to Krang Tachan in 1972 or perhaps before that. What source of people? De quel type de gens s'agissait-il À quel groupe appartenait-il Response. Response. People were sent to the center for different reasons. Les gens and I never know these reasons. And I only knew what connu. happened in the confined area. Je savais ce qui se passait. In my position, so I'm afraid I cannot tell you about mes this. In Donc, general, vous en people who opposed de générale, the movement would be regarded au as the outsiders. Comme des I mean, those who opposed the fighting to defend the country would be regarding would be regarded as Cela the enemies, I believe, comme des ennemis, in that context. And Dans everyone who joined the movement uh, were the revolution supporters, for des sure. Partisans de la revolution. And uh, for those who were detained, I think in any society, such people would be jailed. Uh, Dans toute and it doesn't société, happen just during that period of time serait emprisonné. Ce n'était pas propre à cette époque. Would it be fair for me to say, Question. in summary, en résumé, that the bad people who got sent oui, to Krang Tachan que les mauvais éléments were the enemies? À Krang Tachan étaient des ennemis. Response. Is this not correct? Réponse. Ce n'est pas exact. Only after investigation was uh, carried out to find out the grounds uh, for their, uh, their wrongdoings, then pour finally les they would be identified as having committed any wrongdoings. Et because après not cela everyone would be regarded as the enemy, although they were detained n'était pas considéré Thank comme ennemi même si ces Now, one other category of person Question. that you mentioned in your interview que vous évoquez being sent dans to Krang Tachan and for everyone it's the same ERNs as I gave you spoke of the Khmer Rouge soldiers who defected to the Lon Nol side and the Lon Nol soldiers who defected to join the Khmer Rouge were also sent to the security center to be educated and interrogated. Now, can you help me when did you first discover Quand that pour la some of the people at Krang Tachan were soldiers? Que certains des détenus de Krang Tachan étaient des soldats. Yeah. 
Bang. Response. I'm afraid I don't quite understand Réponse. your question. Je n'ai pas bien compris la question. In your interview, question. you talk about Durant soldiers audition, going to Krang Tachan to be arrested and interrogated. Now, did you find that out in 1972, 1973, 1974? Help me. When did you discover that soldiers were being held at Krang Tachan? Response. Réponse. I only heard about uh, the educational center of the upper echelon, and I heard that people would be sent to uh, that upper echelon educational center. And only in 1973 that I learned this happened just right. Uh, uh, closer to me, que cela and, se uh, that's when I learned about it. It was in 1973. C'était donc en 73 que je l'ai appris. I want to move on now question. to the subject of political education. Passons à la question de l'éducation politique. Now, in the third interview you had with the investigators. Audition, which was D232-17, English ERN 00380136, Khmer 00373467-8, and French 00426206. And I'm moving on in time because this is dealing with 1976. You said that later when you were the district secretary at Trumkok, you and somebody called Buen were responsible for propaganda and education. So is it right, Mr. Pect Chim, that you Monsieur were responsible at some point for propaganda and education. Response. I, I am afraid I, I don't understand your law question. Can you please Votre make it shorter and be longue. Je ne brief? Pas comprise. Poser Were you question? responsible for propaganda and education? Yes or no? De la propagande et de l'éducation. Oui ou non? Bye. Response. Yes. Réponse. Oui. I worked uh, more in propaganda Je and education that uh, was of my prime uh, tasks and the other things uh, would be handled uh, by my superiors Le reste, and I had nothing to do with the prisoners because I would be engaging in the propaganda and the education sessions and I would be engaged in finding rice for people to eat. Et je and de uh, there was uh, at times uh, rice plus that could be distributed to different districts. And for districts. those who um, lacked uh, such uh, rice, uh, would be distributed from our district. And donc, uh, uh, it was part of my task uh, to ensure that. Uh, we could uh, find uh, food for everyone and I loved uh, my nation, my people and we did our best uh, to make sure we could tout en promote uh, this um, sympathy and love for our nation and I never discriminated against anybody of any political background.
fait de discrimination envers quelqu'un pour des because you were responsible for propaganda and Question. education vous étiez responsable I want to see if you can help the court dès lors about what sorts of things were contained in the subject of propaganda and education. Sur quoi la propagande and I want to give you some words or phrases Je vais vous citer that were used during this period qui à to see if you can help us. Et nous The first document si I refer to, but I'm not asking you to have it, is E3-10, which is a revolutionary flag special issue from September, October 1976. At English page 0045-0526, French 00491893, and Khmer 00063090. The author of an article says, there are only workers and peasants in the ranks of our revolution. Was that also your understanding, that there were only workers and peasants in the ranks of the revolution? Response. I did not quite get Réponse. the last part Je of pas bien your question when you mentioned question. about workers and peasants. Could you repeat it, please? Des ouvriers et des paysans. Pourriez-vous répéter? Le président. The president, uh, Mr. Witness, could you please hold Monsieur on and counsel Copé? You may now proceed. La parole est à Maître Copé. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Um, although maybe not a formal objection, but I don't really see the point in asking these complicated questions for this witness. Um, why not simply ask, first of all, by the way, uh, does he know something called the revolutionary flag? Uh, and the second question, what, does, what, is, what was his position on, on workers and peasants? Why this? Endless par aux uh, quote et from aux some revolutionary flag in 76. Why make the question so complicated? Complexe Mr. President, the endless 76. quote was, I think, six words. L'accusation. Let me, me deal with it another way. L'accusation interminable. En fait, c'était seulement six mots. Procédons autrement. Mr. Pechtim. Monsieur Pechtim. Was it just workers and peasants? in the ranks of the revolution, la revolution or were other people parmi ces rangs que in the ranks of the revolution? Response. Response. Yes, there were other people, including the petty bourgeoisie, the intellectuals, the nationalists, and the rich. And even et the former monarchy, including the former king, who was in rage uh, and reigned that day, also part of the revolution. Can you help me on who the feudalist yes. landowner class was? Which sort of people? Les féodaux et les propriétaires fonciers. Quel type de gens étaient-ce? À quelle classe appartenait-il? Response. Réponse. 
I'm afraid I don't know this very much, but I can say that those who the least landowners would refer to those who had possessed the most land and the poor had little land or less land. Now, Question. the revolutionary flag that I'm concentrating on on another page, English 00450529, French 00491895 through 6, and Khmer 00063094, talks about class contradictions. I'm going to read part of it to you and then ask you a question. De ce document pour ensuite vous poser une question. Fundamentally, the contradictions are between the proletarian class and the capitalist class. Aside from these, there are class contradictions with the feudalist landowner and privileged classes. Sub-district chiefs, les chefs district communes, governors, les de district, provincial governors, les de province, government officials, les police, police les and soldiers. Et les now, the first question is, Voici ma question. when you were responsible for propaganda and education, de la propagande et de did you know anything about class contradictions? Des contradictions de classe? Response. Réponse. Yes, I did. Oui. Who were the class Question. contradictions between, or can you just explain this further in your own words? Pourriez-vous en parler avec vos propres mots? Response. Réponse. I think class contradictions refer to the contradictions in the daily living, for example, how people live their life, like the poor would uh, live a luxurious lifestyle as opposed to the poor who lived a very difficult life. And Vivaient dans the, la difficulté. The gaps also seen in different level. On observait ce type d'écart à d'autres niveaux aussi. People, including the monarchy, even the Buddhist monks were la monarchie, classified differently. There were five classes originally, as far as I remember, later on, they were reduced suite, to silver because we engaged in the fighting and that we had to make sure that combats, there was no longer class uh, contradictions because such contradictions classe, would uh, do no good to our fight uh, for our country. That's why we did our best to make sure that we could live together and limit uh, these contradic uh, class contradictions. contradictions so this is how we could uh, um, resolve it. C'est ainsi que l'on pouvait. Thank you. Did solution. you ever hear of Question. the f the Merci. words life and death contradictions? Avez-vous jamais entendu l'expression suivante? Contradiction de vie et de mort. Response: Yes, I did. Réponse: oui. Can you explain that further, Question. please? Pourriez-vous? nous expliquer ce que cela veut dire. Réponse. These uh, 
term is was not used to refer to Cette what happened in the for the nation pas at that reference time it was the contradiction between people in the society entre des gens au sein de la société But when it comes to life and Mais death contradiction it refers to the contradictions mort, between countries il s'agit d'une contradiction entre des pays I'm moving on to another Question. revolutionary flag, again to quote part and to see if you can help us. Nouveau, vous vous I'm referring to E3-11, e a revolutionary flag special issue of Numéro September 1977. The relevant page, English ERN 00486235. 48 French 00492822 and Khmer 00063146 This is talking about the National Democratic Revolution de la Révolution Démocratique Nationale And in this official document The author states, document officiel, we divided our ceci. enemies into three groups. Les en trois First, to win over those enemies who could be won over. Second, to neutralize those who could be neutralized. And thirdly, to isolate the most vicious in order to attack them. Now, can you help me, please? Who were, as far as you were aware, considered to be enemies? Quels gens étaient considérés comme des ennemis Response. People have different understanding regarding this. Les gens comprennent les choses de manière Enemy. différente. And this refers to the Ici, enemies regarding ideology ce sont les ennemis du for point example de vue people would uh, love or like a, uh, par exemple, different des gens aspects differently and how could we eradicate such qui aiment différentes differences. choses and no Et one could on ever do this comment éliminer ces In previous regime, people Personne could not ne uh, le faire. I get it out of this, and also this uh, was carried on to the next uh, regimes. Et cela est resté d'application pour les régimes suivants. Mr. President, next, I, I'd like to refer to a statement in this case. I've not been able to print it out this morning because none of us could access our computers. Car personne parmi nous n'a pu accéder. To see if, first of all, if the witness recognizes Voyons the name, I've simply written the name of this witness si down on a piece of paper. And can I please just present the piece of paper to the witness to see if he recognizes the name? Pour voir il ce nom. Well, the President, Le President, you may proceed and je vous en prie. Greffier is now directed to bring this document Monsieur to the Greffier witness for examination, please. For the benefit of my learned friends, the document uh, is D225-28. C'est le document D225-28. Now, Mr. Pet Chim, I've handed to you Monsieur a piece Pet of Chim, paper with somebody's name on it. Un document contenant un nom de personne. Now, this person described themselves as the youth chairman se décrit comme in District 105. They said that they worked with Ces gens disent avoir travaillé avec vous. And this person actually worked at Et the District Committee of 105 au niveau du comité de from 1970 
to 1979. Now, so do you first of all recognize the name of the witness? Connaissez-vous le nom de ce témoin? Response. Réponse. I cannot uh, recollect uh, it. Je ne m'en souviens pas. I'm afraid I can't uh, recall this name and I don't know whether the person is uh, young or old. Je ne sais pas si c'est quelqu'un de jeune ou de vieux. I just want to see if you can help on, on one topic mentioned by the witness. Voyons si vous pouvez nous aider concernant un point évoqué par ce témoin. The witness spoke of attending special meetings and study sessions. The President, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, could you please hold on and counsel Copé, you may proceed. La parole est à Maître Copé. Would my learned friend be able to, to explain Copé. why we're going through this procedure with a piece of paper showing Pourquoi the witness a name, a person that he apparently doesn't know? Uh, we have to sort of find out who the guy is. Can we be a little more concrete with in respect to what is happening here? Ce qu'elle est en train de faire. Mr. President, I'm simply going to put to this witness Je vais um, reference to a meeting and see if the witness recollects it. That's all. Pour voir si le témoin s'en souvient. C'est tout. President, the prosecution, you may continue. Le président, l'accusation, vous pouvez poursuivre. So, this witness, I, I need to give some pages, Mr. Petchim. English 0022-3478. French 0065-1261. And the Khmer 00016349. I think it may be 496. This witness talks about a 23rd anniversary meeting taking place at Phnom Trel. I'll spell that T R E L near. Tani, T A N Y. When Tamok, rassemblement, à l'occasion duquel Tamok, a meeting when Tamok 
talked about enemies and said that people had to inspect and monitor for enemy activity. Now, did you ever receive instructions about inspecting and monitoring enemy activity? Inspecter et surveiller les activités des ennemis. Mien. Réponse. Yes. Oui. Oui. Monitored the enemy's activities. Nous avons en effet surveillé les activités des ennemis. We needed to verify whether they were the real people or the, or the enemies. Vérifier si c'était des véritables personnes ou si c'était des ennemis. I want to go back to the bad people. Question. Who were sent to Krang Tachan from 1972 up to liberation on the 17th of April 1975? And I'm asking you questions about what happened to people if they did not obey the rules after being educated. Après avoir été éduqué. Again, I need to give some numbers. I'm referring to your interview D232-17. English ERN 00380134. Khmer 0037-3466. And French 0042-6204. Uh, Petsch, Mr. Petschim, I'm quoting to you now what you told the investigators. Donc, je cite ce que vous avez dit aux enquêteurs. But if they still did not obey the rules si after being educated, avoir été éduqué, the commune would ask for an opinion la from the district committee demanderait au comité de district which composed de of décision. com Ce comité était composé Kiev, com, that's K-E-A-V, Nev, -A -V, and me. Is that correct? for people who did not obey the rules. President, President witness, please. Wait. Oui. Yes. Yes. Oui. Yes. 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 Presenting the witness uh, with, with the answer at the same time. Obviously leading and should not uh, be permitted. Enfin, souffle la réponse à la question au témoin. Et It's back to the same old point chose. again. I, I don't know how many times I need to make submissions on Encore this. Encore une fois, je ne sais pas combien de fois je dois This witness has given five previous OCIJ statements. Voilà. Eu cinq auditions avec les enquêteurs. We have a well-established procedure la procédure est déjà of extracts of the établi. statement being put and then supplemental de questions asked. Poser des, enfin de citer des extraits du procès verbal et ensuite poser I'm des questions I'm adopting that same procedure that we've adopted now with dozens of witnesses before et this court. Ce que fait avec des dizaines de témoins déjà. This is not by contrast the same sort of incident we had last week or before with Nu Mu, where one was dealing with notes Nou taken, for Nou instance, by Mr. Kiernan. These are interviews that are with OCIJ investigators. To adopt a phrase, they have relevant indicia of reliability, and that's the reason why, with previous OCIJ statements, we have adopted this approach. 
I'm simply carrying on that approach, and I don't understand the continual objection to it. So I ask, please, can I proceed, or is the Chamber introducing a different rule now for the examination of OCIJ President, uh, Defence Council, you may proceed. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Je voudrais juste dire que dans certains cas, les objections ont quand même une certaine forme d'intérêt. Ici, il semble que ce soit justement le cas. Ce matin, vous avez demandé à ce monsieur combien de fois il avait été interrogé et à quelle date il a indiqué qu'il avait été interrogé quatre jours de suite en 2005 ça n'apparaît nulle part puis une fois en 2008 ça n'apparaît nulle part non plus donc dans un cas comme celui-là le témoin qui comparait n'est pas capable the witness de se souvenir ne serait-ce même que combien de fois et quand il a été interrogé, je crois que dans ce cas de figure particulier, il est justement très important que nous sachions exactement où en est ce témoin du point de vue de sa mémoire des événements qui se sont déroulés il y a 40 ans. C'est pour ça qu'il me semble dans ce cas bien précis Uh, perhaps even some 40 years ago. And this is why I fully support the objection lodged by my colleague, Council Copé. The President, there are two reasons. First, the prosecutor needs to get the reconfirmation. In particular, in response to this morning question, as there was an incredible of the four interviews conducted at his house. En effet, ce matin, le témoin a fait des erreurs quant à ses souvenirs des entretiens. If the date of the interviews, of which he read before he. His appearance, uh, correct. Le lu les procès verbaux, then si the les objection to any extract that you make from those interviews he gave to the investigators of the OCIJ is incorrect. And that is the existing Donc, practice that we have implemented for almost two years before this court. La pratique que vous avez adoptée n'est pas correcte, c'est pourtant celle que nous avions adoptée. So, if a party thinks that it is of interest of justice and finding the truth to si extract a portion of the written record of the interview de of a witness, témoin, it is considered correct and une allowed, bonne and it is not considered a leading question. Pas comme une question Mr. Perch, Jim. We have on our case file records Nous avons suggesting dans le dossier pénal that you were interviewed des on four occasions in August 2009. The first interview on the 25th of August 2009. The second interview Deuxième on the 26th of August 2009. The third interview Troisième on the 27th of August 2009. And the fourth interview on the 28th of August 2009. Now that I have refreshed your memory of the dates of those interviews, are these the interviews that you had and the interviews that you have read? Your 
question is incorrect, in particular regarding the year. Vous vous trompez. I cannot record the exact date. Je ne me souviens pas de la précise, record with me. car je n'ai pas apporté And actually, the written moi. records that I were given, I Et kept it in a closet at my house. Les documents qu'on m'a remis, je les ai gardés sur une tablette chez moi, je ne les ai pas. And just to, to tell you, I been pretty busy in engaging in farming and I'm almost 78 years old. So I need to earn my living as well. So I do not actually give much attention to those written records of interviews. I need to struggle to maintain my personal life and living conditions. But just to make sure, I was interviewed four Mais times in the past and recently I was interviewed once before my appearance. Une autre fois avant de venir I was interviewed actually on the 29th and uh, some military officers actually uh, came to meet me and me voir interviewed me regarding uh, my appearance à de this court. Devant ce tribunal. Thank you. I think we need to be absolutely clear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand clear. to you copies in Khmer of the interviews that took Khmer place. De vos auditions. Can you just bear with me one moment? Un moment. So, Mr. Petschim, I'm handing you the first four Monsieur. records of interview that have some signatures and thumb prints on each page. I'd like you just to look at these for one moment, please. Mr. President, can these be tendered to the witness? Yes, oui, you may do so. Court officer, could you deliver the document from the prosecution for the witness examination? Mr. Petschim, I'd like you just to take a moment and look at those documents. Le procureur, M. Pechim, veuillez prendre un moment pour considérer les documents. And there's also a fifth interview on the 6th of December 2009. Can that please be handed, Mr. President? du 6 décembre 2005-2009. Sur le point après, veuillez, je vous prie, remettre ce document au témoin. Yes, you may do so. Court officer, could you deliver the document for the witness examination? Oui, now, Mr. Petschim, having had the chance to have a look at those, Monsieur do you Petschim, accept that they're the records of interview with your thumbprints on the page? And does that also refresh you now on the date? Yes. Oui. That having now been established, I'm going to repeat my question. Procureur, voilà que les choses, maintenant que les choses sont claires, And to remind you of the subject. Je voudrais vous poser la question à nouveau et vous rappeler. It's about the procedure at Krang Tachan. From 1972, or whenever it was set up, to 1975, four people who did not obey the rules. And you told the investigators, if they still did not obey the rules after being educated, the commune would ask for an opinion from the district committee. Now, is that correct for bad people who did not obey the rules? Pour les mauvais éléments qui n'obéissaient pas aux règles.
Rhinox. At that location, Réponse. the sub-district or the district itself did not have à a hand to play there. It le was a separate affair. Le district n'avait If we interfered in that affair, we would be in trouble. -là. Si en effet, nous As we all know, nous we managed dans ces affaires -là. Nous avions des problèmes, comme je l'ai dit. And they nous nous occupions nos propres affaires et eux s'occupaient des leurs. And we could see that they requested to reduce the number of the people, in particular the secretary. Nous avons pu constater qu'ils avaient demandé à réduire Sound. le nombre de gens. But y compris, mostly those people were good people. Mais c'était surtout de bons éléments. I actually engaged in the investigation to inspect. J'ai participé and then I made both a verbal and written à l'enquête et à l'inspection et j'ai ensuite fait un rapport tempétrique verbal au comité aux représentants du parti, c'est-à-dire la camarade Combe, c'est-à-dire si quelqu'un devait être remis en liberté et eux considéraient la fonction de la présidente et quelques jours plus tard ils ont envoyé la liste des noms et ces gens étaient remis en liberté. Il y a d'autres exemples aussi. So we had to be specific in what we engage. Nous devions donc être and précis. Sam, who was in charge of the military Et at Grand Tachan, he could have asked me a thousand times, but I would not Grand know how Tachan, to respond because I did not know anything fois, regarding that. Mais je rien pu car je Mr. Sais rien. Perch, Chien, I'm away. Le I'm time I'm at... Allow me to add a Monsieur little bit more. Témoin. One le day. Non, j'aimerais continuer. I requested him to release the, some people Un jour, je lui ai because de they were good en liberté, people. Car il s'agissait de bons éléments. He reviewed the case and asked me to go and to cela. return those people and instructed me to see whether Et they were fed il m'a dit d'aller voir si ils étaient nourris ou si ils étaient malades ou si ils avaient des blessures. And he asked me to give extra rice to those people, and of course I had rice with me, and I brought the rice along. On fait de donner un peu plus de riz à ces gens. J'avais du riz avec moi. J'en ai dû donc apporter du riz. Forgive me, I have to interrupt because your answer has nothing to do with the question I asked. L'interprète n'a pas saisi le début de la question. I want to be clear on this. Do you stand by the accounts you gave to? the investigators from this court. Yes, I stand by oui. the statement. Je à ce que Do you understand Question. that I'm reading out to you what you said to the investigators? Do you understand that? Le comprenez-vous? I couldn't get the last part of your question. Pas compris la fin de votre question. I'm going Question. to read to you word for word Je vais vous lire. Textuellement. what you told the investigators when you were interviewed. And I'm then going to ask you if you stand by your answer. You told the investigators this. If they still did not obey the rules after being educated, the commune would ask for an opinion from the district committee, which composed of Kong, Kiev, Niev, and me, and the relevant commune committee, 
we would then hold a meeting to discuss the matter and make the decision. Do you stand by that answer? Yes or no? Yes. You also said that the party secretary was the one to make the final decision, but that the district level had to consult with the sector party first. So my question is, is it right that the district level had to consult with the sector party first? No, that is not no. correct. So can you explain who made decisions about what to do with bad people who did not obey the rules? Who made the decisions au sujet des mauvais éléments qui n'obéissaient pas aux règles? Mr. President, I don't think the witness understands. I'm going to have another try. Mr. President, I think that the testimony has not been understood. I'm going to try it another way. If somebody was bad and didn't obey the rules at Krang Tachan, who had the final decision about what happened to them? Who decided the final decision between what had happened to them? Le président. President, a witness, please wait. The defense counsel, you may proceed. La parole est à la défense. Consum on, thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. I object to this question. J'aimerais soulever une objection. The prosecution raises a question which is a presumption of something that did not happen. You used the word if something were to happen. It reflects that that kind of thing did not exist. And for that reason, it is of no use for the bench to regret on this point. Mr. President, can I just deal with it in another way by quoting from the statement, please? Mr. Pitt, Jim. I am again going to read out to you, word for word, what you told the investigators. I am then going to ask you if you stand by what you said. On this subject, you said. The district level had to consult with the sector party first before any specific decision was made. The sector party then would make a final decision. The district party was the one to implement the decision of the sector party. Do you stand by that? Maintenez-vous ce que vous avez dit? I 
Allow me to réponse. Make a comment. In fact, j'aimerais faire une observation. It seems that I did not say that. Je ne pense pas avoir dit ça. So it cannot uh, be used. It could be wrongly interpreted. Vous ne pouvez donc pas vous en servir, car cela pourrait porter à confusion. We made the report through Nous the sector, and whatever was made by the sector, then we would abide by that decision. Nous devions decision. respecter la décision du secteur. So I would uh, ask you to correct it based Et on my uh, statement now. J'aimerais que vous corrigiez cela parce que je vous dis maintenant. Le district would make a report to the sector. Le district faisait rapport au secteur. And the sector report back to the district. Question: Est-ce que le secteur faisait un rapport au district? With instructions of what to do. Avec des instructions quant à ce qu'il fallait faire. Réponse. Non. No. Because the, tech, the sector already knew what happened. Car le secteur était déjà au courant de ce qui se passait. Then they would do uh, the work at the sector's office. Et donc faisaient leur travail au bureau de secteur. The district only had the roles to transmit uh, the matter le to the sector. Lui n'avait pour rôle que de transmettre les informations au secteur. And if they they came for the people or came Et to take the people, we did not si dare to oppose. We had to gens, give them the, the people that they requested because they they were sure of what they did, and we had to Car be quiet. De, But ils, ils if we were certain, faire, then we would defend our position, si not to give them the people. Certain, de notre position, nous devions maintenir donc notre position et President, thank you, refuser de leur remettre ces gens. Le the time is for a Merci, short Monsieur le Procureur. Nous allons donc venir de prendre une pause. Nous allons donc suspendre, reprendre à 20 minutes et reprendre à 11h moins 10. Court officer, please assist the witness during the break and have him return to the courtroom at 10 to 11. Et vous assurer que le témoin soit de retour à 11h moins 10. Likewise, it applies to the duty council. Tout comme son conseil. The court is now in recess.